Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. So, in this lecture, we will study the statement of distribution of cash. This is question given to us. Let's we revise the question. What is given in the balance sheet? We have two liability in the balance sheet. One is the outsider liability, and second is the insider liability. So, partners' capital is called the insider liability. Bank loan. Bills payable, creditors is called outsider liability, and outsider liability again divide two part, secure and unsecure. In this balance sheet, all liability are unsecure, so we have to pay the all liability in their pro rata ratio. That means in this case, we have to pay the liability in their outstanding balancing ratio. Let's we start how to prepare the. statement of distribution of cash so first step always write the balance first step always write the balance so i am writing balance see the balance cash see the balance here how much given 1000 how much given 1000 so we write the cash 1000 second 10% loan how much 10% loan given 80000 so here we write the 80000 10% How see the balance sheet? How much your balance sheet? Bills payable, sixty thousand. So we we'll get the sixty thousand. Creditors, how much given? Sixty thousand. So we we'll get the sixty thousand. So simple. Starting, starting, easy, easy. So balance one thousand, eighty thousand, sixty thousand, and sixty thousand. Okay. Now come to the second step. See the how much we have related expenses. Assumption one thousand six hundred. How much in our pocket? One thousand. So at this stage, we are not able to pay relation expenses because that amount is more and we have the amount less. So what we'll do? Again, we'll take the first relation. So we'll write here first realization. See the how much given first relation in the balance sheet and under the adjustment one lakh twenty thousand six hundred. So we sell the asset, we uh, receive the cash one lakh twenty thousand six hundred. So therefore first relation one lakh twenty thousand six hundred. We will add. After adding, how much will get one lakh twenty one thousand six hundred. One lakh twenty-one thousand six hundred. So our balance increase. So balance at present one lakh twenty-one thousand six hundred. Now can you pay one thousand six hundred as a relation expenses? Yes, because we have lot of amount and just we have to pay small amount so we can easily pay. So we write less realization expenses. How much realization expenses? One thousand six hundred. So minus कर दिया क्योंकि paid कर दिया. So how much balance remaining? One lakh twenty thousand. That is our balance. Got this? First step. This is our first step. We have to pay relation expenses. Second, we have to pay government dues, government tax. But in this case, government dues and government tax is not given. So there is no need to pay. What is given that you have to pay. What is not given, there is no need to pay. So now come to the loan, eighty thousand, BP sixty thousand, creditors sixty thousand. How much we have? One lakh twenty thousand. Now we have to see the total. How much we have to pay? So total, we have to pay. 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 So we have to pay how much two lakhs, and how much we have one lakh twenty thousand. So अपने को देने का ज़्यादा है मेरे पास कम है. So in that case we have to find out the outstanding balancing ratio. So how to find out? देखो चार जीरो cancel, चार जीरो cancel, चार जीरो cancel. So कितना बचा? Eight six six. Again shortcut. Two three za, two three za and two four za. So this is called the outstanding balancing ratio because we have less amount and we have to pay more amount. So in this case, thoda loan, thoda 
visible thoda traders so this 1 lakh 20000 should be divided 4 is 2 3 is 2 3 so 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 3 10 so 1 lakh 20000 divided by 10 yahan pe likho 1 lakh 20000 divided by 10 to kitna milega 12000 no 12000 into profit sharing ratio so 12000 into 4 very good minus 48000 तो इतना लेके जा बिस्वेबल 12000 into 3 36000 तू इतना लेके जा 12000 into 3 क्रेडर्स तू इतना लेके जा 32000 ओरे गुड 36000 सो लेस पेड टू लायबिलिटी एल मींस लायबिलिटी सब लायबिलिटी अपन पेमेंट करना है सो पेड टू लायबिलिटी कितना था 120000 so, pure amount de diya, 1 lakh 20,000. 1 lakh 20,000 de diya. Jitna tha, utna de diya. Abhi mere paas kuch bacha kya? Nahi, that is nil. So, loan 80,000. We pay you 40,000. Still outstanding balance. Kitna baki hai? Very good. 32,000. 60,000 minus 36,000. Very good. 24,000. Creditors, 60,000. We paid you 36,000. कितना बाकी है 24 था वेरी गुड हमारे पास में अभी जेब में कुछ बचा है क्या नो सो दिस इज कॉल्ड बैलेंस नील जितना है उतना दे दिया नाउ वी विल कम टू द सेकंड रिलेशन सेकंड टाइम हम लोगों ने एसेट बेचा और पैसा मिला सो सेकंड रिलेशन पे कितना मिला 1 लाख गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन है एक क्वेश्चन में आपको दिया है so 1 lakh mila second time mein asset becha so we got the 1 lakh now again very interesting apne paas kitna hai 1 lakh apne ko loan ko kitna dena hai 32000 bills paper kitna dena hai 24000 credit ko kitna dena hai 24000 so 32 plus 24 54 50 plus plus 24 kitna 80000 very good so, तीनों मिलाकर 80,000 देना है। मेरे जेब में कितना है? One lakh. So, can I pay full amount to the loan? Very good. Can I pay full amount to BP? Very good. Can I pay full amount to the? Why we are able to full amount? Because very good. Outstanding liability are less and we have more. अपने पास एक लाख है और देना के कितना 80. So, in that case, there is no need to find out any ratio. So I will write pay to less. Here pay less, huh? Pay to liability. Pay to liability. How much payment can you pay? Eighty thousand. Hey, eighty thousand. How did you get? Thirty-two plus twenty-four plus twenty-four. So full amount take it. Who? Bank loan. Full amount take it. Bills payable. Full amount take it. Creditors. Now how much balance? So balance कितना बचा? Twenty thousand very good. यहाँ पे कितना बचा? नील. यहाँ पे कितना बचा? नील. यहाँ पे कितना बचा? नील. So still we have balance. कितना balance है? Twenty thousand. So in this way we are paying the outsider liability. So revision, conclusion. In this case, whenever we have more amount and we have to pay less amount. There is no need to find out ratio. ratio. And when we have less amount, we have to pay more amount. In this case, we have to find out ratio. ratio. So this is payment of liability and to the outsider liability. Thank you very much. All the best for your exam.